Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adil Badukhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The Anti-Narcotics Task Force ANTF of West Cass Hills Police arrested two drug peddlers while intercepting a vehicle on Friday morning and recovered 7 grams of heroin. Acting on a tip-off, the ANTF conducted vehicle checking at Jai Dokhro, located under Kse Along Village, Nongstoin Police Station, West Cass Hills, and intercepted one Maruti Alto 800. The two apprehended were the driver of the vehicle and a passenger, 7 grams of heroin contained in 7 tin containers, one empty tin container, two syringes, two cell phones, and Rs. 1,000. 1,505 cash was recovered from the passenger. Also, 33 empty plastic tubes were recovered and seized from the vehicle. The All Manipur Tribal's Development and Grievances Forum called off its proposed indefinite economic blockade along the national highways on Friday after the state government assured of releasing Rs 150 crore under MGNREGA or Manrega to all 16 districts of the state. In a statement issued by Forum Vice President Set Kwasat Kipgen, it stated that the All Manipur Tribal's Development and Grievances Forum called off the indefinite blockade along National Highway 2, Dimapur Imphal, and National Highway 37, Jiribam Imphal, as the government of Manipur had assured of releasing Rs 150 crores under Manrega to all 16 districts of Manipur and the remaining balance on the face-wise basis within January 2023 without any delay. Moving on. Sikkim police detained Madan Tamang, the president of Sikkim Suraksha Samiti or SSS on Friday for allegedly creating nuisance during President Draupadi Murmu's visit to the state. According to police sources, Tamang was detained by the police after suspecting him of creating disturbance during Murmu's visit. He was detained at the convoy ground in Daragao, Tadong, away from his usual protest spot at the district administration centre in Siche. He is being detained at the Tadong police outpost. At least seven illegal Rohingya immigrants were held by the police in Tripura. According to the reports, the apprehended illegal Rohingya immigrants had entered into India through the Shunamora border in Tripura from Bangladesh. They were held by the Tripura police at a check gate along the Agartala Assam Highway. The arrested illegal Rohingya immigrants also include three women. They were planning to travel to Bangalore with fake Indian documents. With just a month remaining for the Gujarat elections, Arvind Kejriwal announced the name of former TV anchor Isudan Gadvi as Arm Army Party's or AAP's chief ministerial candidate for Gujarat. Isudan Gadvi is a former journalist and TV anchor. He was named as he won 73% of the votes in an AAP survey on who should be its first Gujarat chief minister's face. Shiv Sena leader Sudhir Suri was shot dead by unidentified people on Friday outside the temple in Amritsar, Punjab. As per reports, he was shot dead while he, along with a few others, were protesting outside the temple. While the attacker was arrested immediately, the police did not reveal any details. Paris Saint-Germain star Lionel Messi has been unveiled as the global brand ambassador of leading Indian edtech company Baiju's social arm Education for All. The Argentinian captain, one of the biggest stars in football, has teamed up with Baiju's to promote the cause of equitable education across the world. Earlier this year, Baiju's became the first official sponsor of the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Thank you for listening to her podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Mithela.